Hello there, I'm a member of the training team and today I'm going to show you how to post payments based on the patient's explanation of benefits form, or EOB. You will use this method if you are in-house and therefore following up on claims yourself, and ERAs, which are electronic remittance advice, or in other words electronic EOBs, are not sent to our system to be posted automatically. You may also use this method if you have a single payer that is in-house or if you do your own personal injury claims and workman's compensation claims. The EOB form will explain what the patient's benefits are for each service billed out based on the CPT code. You will use the FIN tab in the patient account to post these payments. Enter the patient account and click on the FIN tab. Here is our example EOB form. Your practice billed out the CPT 98941 at $60. The allowed amount for the patient's insurance company, however, is $41.32, but it only paid $32.40 in the claim. As a result, there is an $8.92 patient responsibility left on the claim. Fill in these three amount columns based on what the EOB says for the amount the insurance company paid, the allowed amount, and the patient responsibility. For each CPT, the paid amount, adjusted amount, and patient responsibility will add up to the original charge. You will see the number turn red and go down in value as you post the payments and adjustments. The remaining balance will equal the patient responsibility. So I will now enter in the example that I just gave you. This CPT has a total $60 charge to it. The allowed amount from the insurance company is $41.32. The easiest way to do this task is to start by entering in the allowed amount so that the system does the math for you. However, the insurance company only paid $32.40, leaving $8.92 as the patient responsibility. You'll post a patient responsibility by entering it in the field after the 530 column. Now let's talk briefly about transaction codes or money transfer types. In this example, I posted a primary insurance payment to a claim. If you need other codes, you can click on this field next to the blue word type and hit enter. This list will pop up, which will show you all the transaction codes that you need. Please note, numbers that start with 5 are informational. 530 just means patient responsibility. You should also fill in the check number for reconciliation purposes. If you go into the note field at the top right and hit enter, you get the option of selecting deductible in the small list it will pop up instead of typing it. Select deductible in this list by clicking on it since the amount of patient responsibility is due to the patient's deductible. Then hit enter. This payment will show up in the patient statement auto-generated by the system under the deductible column. After you fill everything in, then hit post. Now you can also go into a claim through the claim payments tab to bring up just a fin tab for one claim. Here's a claim that we just worked on. This may make it easier to post on the correct lines when you're just starting. You may want to edit the date field to match the date that the insurance cut the check. An easy way to update multiple rows is to fill in code 111 in the type field. Zero in the amount field. Change the date and click dist.
This changes all the posting dates so that you can fill in the amounts from the EOB at the top here. Well, that's all there is to this video. I hope that you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click like at the bottom of the page. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.